look, quantum is a game changer. And it's a game changer because if you add AI and machine learning onto a quantum kind of platform, and there's still things that have to be worked out, by the way, but it's getting closer and closer and clo much closer than it was when I was at Stanford 20 years ago. It's now, the, the, mm -hmm. they're, they're working out, you know, kind of, if you would, the software layer, the, 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 the application layer to start to integrate a, on top of the core technology. Once that gets resolved, we're there. I mean, we're going to have internet quantum clouds and your ability to hypothesize and put tests in. This is where now data becomes king. The context mm -hmm. becomes critical of the data. And if the AI and all that kind of converges, you can start doing, uh, you can start using that technology for your quality uh, decision of validation. Uh, you know, I, 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 it was funny, the other week I was with uh, some um, students from a local university here and, and they're, uh, they're, they're an organizational behaviorist, right? They're studying OB. And these are juniors, uh, sophomore junior types. And I showed them the study of a, a robot that in China that was uh, 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 developed about a year ago, year and a half ago. And these are 20 year old Chinese students who had gotten a little bit of capital from, I think it was actually a venture capital and they spent about a year and a half and they built a robot who was designed to pass the Chinese medical exam. The Chinese medical exam, okay? Uh -huh. The robot was given, I, I, I don't quote me on this, but it was um, 400,000 medical articles, 400,000 medical articles, uh, 2 million actual case records. So this was, uh, patient symptoms, doctor's diagnosis, doctor's prescription, and the outcome of the patient. So it did the whole life cycle of the, the uh, thing, and they showed the case. That case information was fed to the robot who had AI and machine learning uh, algorithms pl uh, programmed into it. And it also, I think, the 12 core medical textbooks that you have to use to pass the Chinese mm -hmm. medical exam, okay? So a mm -hmm. very very heavy duty body of knowledge, right? Uh, the passing grade for the Chinese medical exam is 360, right? The robot was fed the information and after four days of data crunching on current technology, current computing technology, and this, by the way, I don't think it was even supercomputer. After four days, it, you know, it was scanning, deep learning, going through all the information, da 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 da, -da. Uh, it, it stopped and then it took the test and it passed at 464, okay? Now, today, if you're a medical doctor and you're gonna take the medical exam, it's usually about an eight to 10 year journey yeah. before you're even allowed to sit for the medical exam, right? So, uh, and, and most people, by the way, this was absolutely a mind-boggling event, for, especially for machine learning, deep learning uh, scientists, because the half of the test of the Chinese medical has nothing to do with rote memory. You know, what's this molecule? What's this equation? What's the anatomy of the body? None of that. Uh, that's ha probably half of it. But mm -hmm. half of it was, if you get these conditions or these situations, what would you do? But what's, your mm -hmm. what's your approach, right? So it requires mm -hmm. total judgmental uh, logic in order to have these, you know, to get tested on, you get the outcome. This stunned the AI world. These were 20 year olds that put this thing together. You know, <laughs> now it took them a while to be fair. I mean, it took, they had to, they had to get the logic of the algorithms done for this, this robot, quote unquote, to pass this test at this, on this four day feed of information. But I bring this up because when you think about this, and I asked this, this, this group of students with me, would you trust a medical doctor that only passed the exam at 360 or robot at 464? And these were younger generation. These are what I call the, they're, they're kind of the digital generation, uh, young adults now at 20 years old. They said, oh, you know what? I probably would go for the robot. My point in strategy is this. Imagine if we could have our company's avatar who knows our company better than we do because we feed it all of the data, you know, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the balance sheet, all the strategic plans, the business, you know, you could feed it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's probably far less complex than all that medical stuff, right? And <laughs> you, you could feed the, the avatar and you propose to the avatar 
possibility questions or problem statements or opportunity mm -hmm. and say, given this, what's our risk of market penetration in the global world? And I'm just playing with you here. Mm -hmm. On a quantum computer, you could probably get that answer in about, you know, an hour. Mm -hmm. It just, the, 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 you know, just by, by the acceleration of the yeah. AI and the machine learning. So this is going to change us. We, yeah. we, we're, we're at a moment in human history where organic, non-organic intelligence is going to be part of what we do. We're going to have automatons, almost science fiction as we've, we've thought about it, and, and, and it is now going to come real. And that little Chinese robot that passed the medical exam was just one little element of what's happening, of what's coming. And it's going to get better and faster and cheaper and to the point that you, you, you're going to have these kind of avatars around you and with you that are part of the, the thing. But you need to still bring the creativity business. That isn't going to go away. Yeah. yeah, yeah Somebody's yeah. got to figure out the problems to feed, you know, the, 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 these robots. So anyway, that's my theoretical take on what's going to occur with AI and, and robots in the strategy domain.